Hi, in this video, so I'm gonna show you how one of these portable spot welders work. You get these quite cheaply from places like AliExpress. So the idea is you charge them up. This one here is currently charging. And then when it's charged, you can use it in its own right like this. So you haven't got to connect it up to a car battery or anything like that. Let me just show you the buttons at the back. So we have a little on and off button here. So we just tap this and that turns it on. By default, it will always turn on midway on the power, which is three out of five. If you wanna make it more powerful, you can tap this to number four, tap it again to number five. Five will be the strongest setting, and then it goes down to one. So it's between one and five. I'm gonna leave it on number three. And we have little battery lights here. So you can see right now we've got two lights. So that indicates that it's roughly half full. There's four lights there. And these lights here are just when you charge them, this will light up here now. And this one is micro USB, but you will also get other ones that will take USB-C, which is slightly newer. Now, the idea mainly of these is to do spot welds when it comes to welding up these 18650 cells here. So I'm gonna do a quick example. It's really good how it works. Basically, when it's on, it detects when it's on something and then it will spot weld. So let me just quickly show you just these two little bits of nickel here. And it's on setting three. So if we line them up here and we put pressure downwards, there we go, and you can see now, just like that, it's spot welded. So let me zoom in, give you a right close up of that. You can actually see the marks on the uh, mat underneath it, just there. Right, so I'm gonna go up to number four, make it a little bit more powerful, and let's go on this again. And that's it, it's clever, isn't it? Right, let's do a little bit of welding on some batteries. Right, so we're going to be welding up these two 18650s here. It's going to be slightly harder because they've already been used, so they're not completely flat, so it might not make the best weld, but you get the idea. I'm going to go up to number five here because it's going to be draining away a lot of the heat from here. The reason why you would use this rather than a soldering iron is for safety. The heat is very localized when you use a spot welder, while if you were to try to solder them on, you're going to be heating up half the cell, which is going to be dangerous because you could risk a fire. Right, okay, so I'm going to hold it in place here and press down hard. Right, that's that one on there. Just tighten this up a bit more. And let's do another one. There. And now let's go over to this side. And here. Oh, I'm gonna do that one again. I don't think that went there. There we go. So you can see now it's uh, it spot wells through there and there's no real heat involved going into the cell. So it's a nice little device. So if you were making up loads of battery packs, it'd be much better, obviously, if you had some foot on and off switch and then you can properly line it up. While with this one, you've only got about a second before it goes off, which is not that much time to get everything lined up properly. But if you only need to do a few spot welds every now and then, you might not want to spend a lot of money on a device and this may be useful. Now, is there any strength there? Yeah, there is. There is a bit of strength there. Remember, I've gone onto batteries that have already been welded, so it's not perfectly flat, but look at that. There we go. It will break, hold on. <laughs> no, that's not breaking. Ooh, there we go. So uh, yeah, and you can see there's a hole there, so the weld stayed on here. Remember, it's only one millimeter thick. It's quite nice. Thanks for watching.